have complained about PPI. But despite this big bill and all the associated extra admin for the bank, it still managed to increase its profits by 38% to come in at £1.2 billion. Now, the bank is still part taxpayer owned, although the government has been reducing its stake fairly significantly, now standing at around 15% of the bank. Let's speak now to the independent banking commentator Francis Coppola. Thank you very much for coming in Francis. Uh, let's start with this idea about share sales. Uh, the bank today revealed it will pay out excess capital to shareholders. That surely paves the way for a special dividend and perhaps a retail offering sometime next year. I mean some people saying perhaps as, as early as March because obviously yes. we get the full year results then. Yes I would expect it to be shortly after the full year results. Many of the CEOs at banks would, uh, would hope that is the case. Mm. Now we've heard um, this week haven't we from Lloyds, we've heard from RBS and also from Barclays. What kind of picture can we paint of British banking and, and the UK economy as a whole? Francis we're going to leave it there but uh, of course it's always the case that what's good for banks is good for the rest of us. Uh, let's uh, have a quick look at the airlines industry because profits have lifted off at International Airlines Group. They're the owner of British Airways and Iberia. Profits up 40% there, well ahead of expectations. There are lots of different things going on at the same time for the airlines. And many of them have been cutting their costs as quick as they can. And there's plenty more competition than there once was. They also have to deal with political hurdles and the boss Willie Walsh has been rather exercised this morning over the row on the new runway at Heathrow, an airport where he of course has a considerable number of landing slots. Easing matters for him though is uh, the falling price of oil but the boss says he's not benefited as much as the competition when it comes to the fall in the price of aeroplane fuel. That's the boss, Willie Walsh, there. Now, let's have a quick look at some of the other stories around for you today. BG, which is the UK-listed oil and gas firm that's being bought out by Shell, has become the latest victim of the rout in the oil market. Although production has reached record levels, revenues are actually down 28%. BG is one of the world's largest shippers of uh, LNG, and it's got huge supply contracts with the fast-growing Asian economies, but struggling to make some money there. Now, Scotch looks like it's losing its flavour. The scorching growth of the Scotch whisky industry has cooled. Emerging markets have stalled. Tastes are changing, and Diageo is responding by turning its marketing attention to rival spirits. Not such good news there. Now, this one, it's something from a thriller novel, Sex, Lies and Interest Rates. That's how the news website BuzzFeed is headlining an investigation alleging that a powerful criminal network tried to infiltrate the Bank of England in the 1990s. Let's have a quick look at the market, see what's going on at the moment. And a rise in the share values of ITV and the energy company BG is setting up the London market for a fourth straight day of gains. Shares in intercontinental hotels slipping back a little bit today because uh, it says that it's not actually a merger talks with Starwood hotels that was a report out yesterday as it from me we'll have more after the lunchtime news see you then victoria many thanks